That didn't work out. Okay guys, uh, we're going to tire the uh, Simplecopter 3.0 out and fly a little bit. Unfortunately, I uh, dropped my main radio and broke both gimbals out of it, sent it back to Horizon to be repaired. So I'm having to use an old DX8 and uh, nothing wrong with the radio, it's just um, I'm not used to the sticks like this because they're just the way it is. But either way, I've also got a broken rear prop a little bit, it's just a little bit broke. So if it flies off, we'll uh, be interesting. This thing has uh, fantastic, pretty much everything. The yaw is just unbelievable as always, but um, it flies really well in balance. Amazing, good flyer, so. Let's see, what can we do? We can do uh, the old up. That wasn't very good. It's also a little bit windy out here. Windy out here today. And sunny. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, toilet bowl swirly. Uh, seems to be one of my favorites. Um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I have to do it again. There we go. You don't have a lot of control where it's going when you're doing this. So, uh, I can also do it backwards. Let me do that later because uh, I don't want to replace props so I don't have to. I need to speed that up. Oh, the wall came up on me quick. That was horrible. All right, so you can also fly it around nice and slow on, you know, scale stick. It's very docile if you have the, the stock scale stick on it. Um, I'll also fly it around a little bit in, uh, in auto level. Let me click on auto level. All right, it's on auto level now. So now it comes back to level whenever you let go of the stick. So if you're just learning how to fly, um, it's a little bit off trim. I haven't really uh, trimmed out the auto level 100% yet, but you get the idea. Left goes back straight, right goes back straight, forward. So it's great for learning and, um, and for video, really. I use it for video whenever. You know, I'm doing trying to have a real nice smooth type video. Yeah, except back props got a little bit of a quiver. Alright, let's get off auto level. Retrim it best I can with this wind. Uh, let's go fast. Where can we go fast? Hold on a second. Let me land. Yeah, I can do a pass, I think. Just gonna just do this. I got power wires and all sorts of stuff here. I'm just not used to this area. Let's see what we can do here. Sign. Yeah, it really isn't. This thing will just cook, so it's hard to. Is there a power? I can't see that. I think there's a power wire out there, but I'm going to try to go under it and see if we can get a little bit quicker. And the wind's coming right at me, so it's to my back, so it won't be quite as. Yeah, that wasn't very good. I do like pavements. Drag an arm a little bit. Might as well, it's brand new. guys on a skateboard. Cool. Alright. Where was I? Got another skateboarder coming.
pretty. All right, I'm gonna walk into the the building. See what we got. Good to go. Way the battery's still running on this one. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit the fence. It's a really bad idea, but what could possibly go wrong? The battery's probably about dead, so. Yes! Whoa, that's, how do I get it? Okay, that was cool. Not what I meant to do, but let's try it again. Oh, oh! Okay, well, gee, I hope nobody saw that. All right, let's see what we did. Um, besides shattering all the paint, okay, I guess I need to use a different kind of paint on my body because it literally, when it hit, it shattered like all the paint off it. So I know they make plastic body uh, paints. So we got two motors, came loose. It's like zip ties, so it didn't break a prop. And I think the back just did a twisty. Best thing to do whenever it twists sideways like that is disconnect the battery and then you just kind of pop it back in place and I did lose my rear collet so that's not good because I don't have it well it should be around here somewhere so I'm gonna find my rear collet because it came off and looks like there's absolutely no damage uh, except for shattered paint off the body <laughs> it's crazy. It's crap hope you can see all that hopefully this camera recorded that because that was absolutely I didn't do that no it wasn't me um, so uh I'm going to look for my collet, and I'm going to probably call that quits. That was pretty cool with the hanger on the uh, fence and everything. So, found the collet, which is a miracle. And, uh, again, just to reiterate, looks like uh, literally that crash, all it was, besides a lot of paint, uh, is two, two uh, four zip ties. That's it. Props are okay. Good enough for me, at least. Back prop's still pretty chewed up. Um, I mean, I can plug it in. Well... 
I can't, but I can. You can see that the the tail's fine. It's just needs the collet put back on. It was kind of a good wallet there. Like I said, that hole in the wall was that was, that was there before I got. God. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to use some different paint. So I'm gonna try to find some better plastic paint. This was kind of done in a rush. I didn't even clean up the body before I did it. But either way, that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, four zip ties. Awesome. By the way, just a word of note, if you ever do lose your collet and you can't find it, which should have been my case, uh, you can take a zip tie, one of these real small zip ties, and you can zip tie it around the back, kind of like it's a temporary thing to hold it until you can get another zip tie. I mean, another uh, collet. And, uh, man, I took a wallet back there. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to put four zip ties on this thing and go fly it again. So y'all be good. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm.